Hi. Hello, Nine Standard. Have a good day. Today, we are going to deal with the new topic, plant physiology. We have already learned animal kingdom with the classification of animals with the different phyla, their characteristic features. Second, we have learned about organization of tissues where we come across plant tissues, animal tissues and at the end of that lesson is the cell division. Plant tissues as metasomatic uh, and permanent tissues whereas the animal tissue there are different categories. Then cell division we have learned about amitosis, mitosis and meiotic cell division. So two chapters we have done. The third one is plant physiology. What do we know? Plant is a living organism. Whereas physiology is a branch of biology which deals with the functioning of these organisms. What, are, what does it mean functioning? The parts of the plants are root, stem, leaf, flower, fruits and seeds. And everyone is doing the function. That is physiology. In plants, root system, it has two main functions. One is it fixes the plant firmly in the soil and the age. Second one is absorption of water and minerals from the soil by the root hairs. And this absorption is taking place by physical phenomena, diffusion, imbibition and osmosis. This is for the root absorption. Next comes the transpiration where there is excess water when it is evaporated by the from the green leaves it is called transpiration. What is excess water? Daily we are watering the plant and all the water amount of water is not utilized by the green plants for photosynthesis. So that are for transport. So that excess water is evaporated through the green leaf. That process is called transpiration. Third one is photosynthesis where green plants prepare food with the help of sunlight, water, chlorophyll and carbon dioxide. And respiration in plant, it is called uh, respiration which is made into usable energy and the same respiration in animal, it occurs in two events. One is taking in oxygen, giving out carbon dioxide and another one is cellular respiration. So in animal, it is slightly different. When I say plant, respiration, it is taking place as first anaerobic then anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration it takes in four stages. One is glycolysis, second one is oxidation as a result of glycolysis, pyruvic acid is formed. So second step is uh, oxidation of pyruvic acid. Third one, it is grip cycle and fourth one is the electron transport chain where energy is made into usable form. That cellular respiration that is taking place in the plants. Okay, so we have done absorption, transpiration, physiology, respiration and fifth one is important one that is growth. Growth we come across that term, otherwise for movements. What do we know? Living things have the important characteristic feature as respond to stimuli or irritability. What does it mean? When any foreign insect is touching, immediately we respond, is it not? Same way, the plants will also respond to stimuli that results in the growth. And that in turn results in the result, uh, that in turn formed as a result of movements. Okay, so now today we are going to discuss about the plant movements. Now this plant movement is of a normally we say plants will not move from place to place in search of 
food, shelter, and other requirement. Escape from the prey, uh, predator. Whereas plants will move only their plant parts, or the whole plant will move. Otherwise, it is not moving from place to place. So that is movement. Now in plant, there are two types of movement. One is tropic movement. Another one is nastic movement. Tropic movement, it is otherwise tropism we say. Movement of plant part in only one direction. So it is unidirectional movement. Whereas nastic movement is non-directional where it can move in any direction depending upon the uh, sense of the elastic movement. Right? Now this tropic movement, it is of different types. One is phototropism. Photo means light. So when plant move towards sunlight, it, it is called phototropism. Next, geotropism. When the plant is moving towards the center of gravity, it is said to be geotropism. When it is moving towards water, it is hydrotropism. And when it is the sense of touch, it is stigmotropism. And uh, chemotropism in sense of with reference to chemical stimuli, that is chemotropism. Okay. So now here, you take a potted plant and then, uh, one minute, you take a potted plant, keep it near, this is a potted plant with the leaf. So you keep it near your uh, balcony window, then you will see that the stem portion will move towards the light, will come out of the window. I hope you have noticed. Money plant not really grows, you know. So here, you take a small potted plant and keep it near the window sill in the purpa. The window will take a picture, na? That grows to come, that uh, shoot system will come out of the window. That is, it moves towards the light. That is, phototropism. And then, shoot the root system on the elevator bala. It grows towards the gravity. That is geotropism. Okay. For that again, the same contact plant, we keep a contact plant like this. This is one contact plant. Okay. Whether you keep it in the sunlight again, this portion will grow towards the sunlight and this will come down towards the gravity. So that is geotropism. Okay, so tropism, we come across two terms. One is, if the tropism is showing signal, it is said to be positive. If it is not so, it is negative. So here, when this spotted plant, when it goes towards the sunlight, it is said to be positively phototropism and negatively geotropism. Whereas when you see this plant, roots grow towards the ground. So here, this is positively geotropic and negatively geotropic. I hope you understand this. Hmm? So this is positive phototropism, negative phototropism. This is what positive, uh, positive geotropism, negative geotropism. So any tropism, tropic movement, when it shows signal moving towards that, then it is said to be positive. Otherwise, negative. The next one is hydrotropism. For example, you take a glass cup and then you make a stand like this and keep some sand there. And then you keep, sow some seeds. Then you will find that some of the seeds will be growing, germinating, and the plant will grow on the mud part region. Here will be the water. So this shows movement towards water. And here in hydrotropism, both shoot system and the root system will grow towards water. So both of them are positively hydrotropism. So that is for the experiment hydrotropism.
Okay, the next one is thick wood log exam. Otherwise, it is called C smooth. Thick wood log exam. A sense of touch. The melody is touch. It is said to be thick wood log exam. So, touch me not plan. Nasty moment to know that. Touch me not plan. I worry when anything is touched with this. Take more topics on it. Then the fifth one is chemo topic. Huh? This is with a response to chemicals. As an example, when they say the colon grain pollination, what you call it? Pollination. What is it? Transference of. This is gynecium, basal, solar ovary. This is style. And this is stigma. Now this is a stigma that the colon grain will be landing on the stigma. During pollination, transference of colon grain from the anther to the stigma, the process is called pollination. When the stigma is touching, sorry, when the colon grain is touching the stigma, it initiates a chemical stimulus thereby allowing the Colon grain to grow. This stimulus is called chemotropism. Are you clear? Hmm? So, tropic movement it is phototropic, it is unidirectional and it is as many parts of the plant pass as phototropism, geotropism, hydrotropism, thigmotropism, and chemotropism. Right? Next one is nasty movement. It can be in any direction, that is, nastic movement. So it is non directional. And it has three types one is photonasty, second one, thigmonasty, third one, thermonasty. Photonasty, as the name suggests, the response to light. So in this example, textbook example, character, character, circum, Officially, it will bloom in the morning, closing at night. I hope you understand. It's a day flower. Tarak, Sarka, Officially. And second one, Icomia alba, is also known as moon flower. It will bloom only at night. Another example, Jasmine Salola, Malli Kurapita Malala. Now, we have to go to the local and that is. Night flower, so it will bloom only at night. So, this is Ipomia alba example. These two are textbook example. So, Tarax, Tarax, Sartum, Aficinate, and Ipomia alba. So, this is blooming in the morning, closing at night. This Ipomia alba, it is blooming only at night. Okay, the second one is Thigmonasty. Example, touch me not plant. My most of Eureka is touch me not plant. So, here the sense of touch is the leaf, total and the churiki, total churiki is known as that touch me not plant is showing Thigmonasty. Then, second, third one is Thermonasty. It is depending upon the temperature of the climatic condition. Temperature, it responds to temperature. Example, tulip flower. The degree area is the temperature of the condition favors and the tulip flower is okay. And the tulip flower it is regulating due to the regulation of the temperature in tulip. It is called thermonastic. So, there are three types we are learning photonasty, pigmonasty, thermonasty. Okay, so the difference between tropism and the nasty movement. Tropic movement is unidirectional, it is positive or negative tropic movement, and then it is more or less irreversible, irreversible and it shows very slow movement, tropism. Whereas this is non directional. And it can be reversible and it is it will show faster action. So these are the differences between tropic movements and the 
plastic moment. I hope you are ready to follow this. Yes, sir. Uh, shall I continue? Now we will continue. So far, we are just discussing, uh, we are learning tropism and the topic plant physiology. Yeah, I don't know the oral function of it. I know what it is. I don't know. Puriel is a hard topic. So, the ways you should know when you are learning in higher class. Another oral function of the right? And next one, we are going to discuss uh, worksheet number three. Already you have got the worksheet. Is it not? Now on the third video, the plan which is correct. And we have not completed fully question answers for animal kingdom. And now the lesson is the pattern of the game for worksheet 3. So that is the puri line alone. If I can get to note for the video, we will do a pass for the note. So yeah. So first one, answer is Hydra, Tepo, Ascaris. And yet one. Actually, the hydra terium hemophronic animal. Tape on the hemophronic animal. Aster is one day, number particular day, male and female separate. But very few species, I heard, I am not sure. Very few species showing hemophroditism. So, Aster is in the book. Actually, Aster is one of the Okay. Then, fourth, yet one. So, first question, subdivision one, option one day. D, Hydra, Tepo, Ascaris, Ekron. But according to me, Ascaris Karel, Google is another. When a matta moon option room, Kandipa, Halila, Hema Product Karel. Right? Then, second one, example for a graying mammal, Platypus and spine, spiny and peter. In the textbook, let the class mammalia. Platypus and spiny and peter. Third one, bones filled with air are called pneumatic bones. Spelling P N E U M A T I C. Pneumatic bones. Class Aves. Aves are the birds having lightweight bone with the air size. So those lightweighted bones are called pneumatic bones. Fourth one, the term meristos means. It is divisible or having cell dividing activity. Meristos means divisible or having cell dividing activity. So, yeah, the first answer repeat one, right? First subdivision one, option D. Second one, platypus and spiny anteater. Third one, nematic bones. Fourth one, divisible or having cell division activity. Second question, write notes on cyclostomata. Cyclostomes are jawless vertebrates, that is, mouth not bounded by jaws. And body is elongated and eel like. Eel like, I am saying, that is, snake mari, and a long loop, which is called face and the fissure. Then they have circular mouth. Skin is slimy and scaleless. They are ectoparasites of fishes. Example, hagfish and lamprey. I did the answer again. Cyclostomes are jawless vertebrates. Mouth not mounted by jaws. Body is elongated and eerie like. They have circular mouth. Skin is slimy and scaleless. They are ectoparasites of fishes. Example, hagfish. I hope you understand. Hmm? Then third one, define an organ. An organ is a structure made up of collection of tissues that carry out specialized function. Number one, classification of unicellular and multicellular. Multicellular cell tissues, a group of tissues are forming a Organ. Yeah. So an organ is a structure made up of collection of tissues that carry out specialized functions. Example, in plants, the root, stem and leaves are organs. 
when plants grow, stem and leaves are all dense. Okay. Then question four. What are the types of parenchyma tissues based on their locations? And I am telling you, parenchyma are the and in the first formed cells tissues formed as a result of mitosis. It is called mesomatic cell or it is name in the tissues called parenchyma tissue. So normal mesomatic cells will have parenchyma cells. Chloranchyma cells with the chloroplast. Parenchyma cells with air spaces. And pit parenchyma in the center of the vascular membrane. Vascular membrane in the center of the vascular membrane. In the PS or transverse section of root and stem, center portion is the vascular bundle which in turn formed of xylem and phloem. Okay, then last the draw and label longitudinal section of shoot apex going location of meristems and yang leaves. Other than that, the very large of them are included in a apical. In the diagram, longitudinal section. Now, the question matter in the diagram of the Pudana textbook of Pathu. So, yeah, this is for worksheet 3. Then, worksheet 4, worksheet 4 Pathu, then a pass for it to ready up. Name the two poly, polymorphs of silicate. Now, in the animal kingdom, we will complete the complete panel. Nah, in the video cerita itu, saya nak kata mula dengan cerita ini buat yang mana, in the portion macam ni. Cerita. Orang terlalu nak baca baca, baca macam ni. Nothing, we should understand. Tahu tak? Right? So name the two polymers of polymers of silicate, polypad, medusa, polypad, medusa. One on the free floating, another one attached to the substrate. Then what are the excreted organs of phylum? Latin help with this, it is flame cell and phyla matra prolocal, malfigent tubules and vein glands. Then second question, related blanks, skeletal framework of peripheral is cellular blade. Second one, tinnidia or the respiratory organs in phyla mollusca. Third, scales or cartilaginous fishes. Fourth one, the larvae of amphibian is called tadpole. I repeat the answer. A. Cellular grade. B. Mollusca. C. Cartilaginous. D. Vandal tadpole. Then third question, give the hierarchy of classification. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. I repeat, kingdom, phylum, Class, order, family, genus, and species. Okay. Then fourth question. Give the binomial of tapeworm is tinea solium. T A E N I A. T A E N I A. Tinea solium. S O L I U M. Then round one. Ascaris lumbricoides. Round one. Ascaris lumbricoides. I write on the board. As Tinea sodium. Then Ascaris lumbricoides. As far well as lonely persons. So, yeah. The last one is viviparous animals named the egg laying mammals. The animals, all the animals which give birth to young ones, they are called viviparous animals. And all the animals coming under the class mammalia, they are uh, laying, they are giving birth to Young ones, except egg laying mammals as platypus and spiny and later. So, yeah, this is for worksheet 4. 
explanation with the figures right nine standard we are continuing with some figure explanation right now tropism as i said plants will not move from place to place it just moving some of the parts of the plants that's why i it is given do plants move examples the leaves of mimosa pudica touch me not plant total churingi chalon le it closes on touching the same way the stalk of helianthus anus adal sunflower scientific name and helianthus anus the sunflower namma paathirukom le variya and periya thodathil undu surya oli enga irukko anga da andha pakkama alaga malandirukum le that's what it's given the stalk of helianthus anus sunflower follows the path of the sun from dawn to dusk that is morning to evening from east to west and madha irukku adaga putukum and during night it moves from west to east same another plant called desmodium gyrans is common term as indian telegraph plant the leaf is mesmerizing you know the alaga and the movement of the leaves vandu nalla pogum that's why it is given dance of desmodium gyrans so these three are examples as plants as is will not move from place to place only the plant parts will move typical example vandu movement of the leaves one day what are the examples mimosa pudica touch me not plant and helianthus anus sunflower desmodium gyrans indian telegraph plant the moon name chain pathuko common name common name and binomial scientific name you should know right next one it is tropism ena solirken tropism it is a 
movement of plants which show unidirectional movement it is irreversible and the movement is very slow and it is otherwise we say response to stimuli or irritability the first figure what you are seeing a big plant it is shoot system is growing towards the sun so it is negative geotropism and the root system it grows towards the soil and there center of gravity and the movement towards the soil there center of gravity so that is positive geotropism another plant the another figure what is given rind potted plant is there that is our textbook diagram the positive one is one plant which is where the plant shoot system grows towards the sunlight that shows positive phototropism and negative geotropism one one the part count it and the plant when the kill over there and the negatively geotropic part on the shoot system mele porathu and positively phototropism we use the term positive and negative where the movement as phototropism or geotropism or another hydrotropism or tegmotropism or chemotropism or when it shows signal it is positive when it is not showing movement away from it it is said to be negative tropism right so here we are seeing two figures one is negative geotropism positive geotropism another one is positive phototropism plant with the shoot system moving towards the sunlight another one the inverted potted plant is here and when the shoot system negatively geotropic sariya idu vande again experiment to demonstrate phototropism abadina enadhu or closed room la window ay close panni or potted plant vechittu or closed room la window ay close panni in the dark room la or potted plant is kept when you open the window next day you can observe that shoot system is moving towards the light உனக்கு எங்க விண்டோல எந்த சைடு சன்லைட் தெரியுதோ அந்த சைடு இட் இஸ் மூவிங் டுவர்ட்ஸ் தட் ரீஜியன் சோ தட் மூவிங் டுவர்ட்ஸ் தி டைரக்ஷன் ஆஃப் லைட் இஸ் பாசிட்டிவ் போட்டோட்ராபிசம் சோ தி ஃபிகர் வாட் யூ ஆர் சீ இஸ் பாசிட்டிவ் போட்டோட்ராபிசம் சரியா சோ ஹியர் திஸ் இஸ் அனதர் எக்ஸாம்பிள் டு ஷோ பாசிட்டிவ் phototropism na idu kuda creative question la kepen give an experiment to demonstrate phototropism appa enna pananum you take a potted plant and keep it in a dark room in a closed window with for a darkness for 4 or 5 hours the next day you open the window after 4 or 5 hours you open the window allowing the sunlight to enter then it is observed that the shoot system is moving towards the sunlight showing that experiment demonstrates phototropism right this is hydrotropism where movement towards water ana inga normal la rendeyume chollala adavadhu plant shoot system um varalam root system um varalam both so the movement of a plant part in response to water is called hydrotropism hydro na water if the plant part moves towards water it is called positive hydrotropism and if it moves away from water it is called negative hydrotropism but root of a plant always go towards water and they are positively hydrotropic இது வந்து ஒரு கிளாஸ் ட்ரக்ல ஒரு சின்ன வயர் காஸ் மாதிரி வச்சு அந்த கிளாஸ் ட்ரக்ல தண்ணி இருக்கு இந்த வயர் காஸ் மாதிரி வச்சு அதுல வந்து சம் ஜெர்மினேட்டிங் சீட்ஸ் ஆர் கெப்ட் அண்ட் ஆஃப்டர் சம் டைம் தி சீட்ஸ் ஜெர்மினேட் அண்ட் இட் गिव्स ரைஸ் டு ரூட் சிஸ்டம் அண்ட் அந்த ரூட்ஸ்ல இட் இஸ் மூவிங் டுவர்ட்ஸ் வாட்டர் இட் ரெஸ்பாண்டிங் டுவர்ட்ஸ் வாட்டர் திஸ் இஸ் ஹைட்ரோட்ராபிசம் ஓகே தென் திஸ் இஸ் tigmotropism the plant that shows it is tigmotropism 
that climbing plants with weak stem they cannot stand erect so they climb on the support so they cannot stand erect they use thin thread like climbing organs called tendrils the support like la நல்ல அப்படி பூச்சி மாதிரி நிறைய இந்த இது தெரியுது பாரு கிரீன் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஃபுல்லாக ட்வைன் ஆகிருக்கிறார் அது பேர் டென்ட்ரல்ஸ் டென்ட்ரல்ஸ் ஆர் சென்சிட்டிவ் டு டச் ஆர் கான்டாக்ட் ஆஃப் அதர் ஆப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் வென் த டென்ட்ரல் டச்சஸ் அண்ட் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் தி சைட் ஆஃப் த டென்ட்ரல் இன் கான்டாக்ட் வித் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் க்ரோஸ் ஸ்லோவர் தேன் இட்ஸ் அதர் சைட் ஏ பிகாஸ் த டென்ட்ரல் பெண்ட் டுவர்ஸ் த ஆப்ஜெக்ட் பிரைக் பை க்ரோயிங் டுவர்ஸ் இட் and it wind it wind around the object and cling on to the cling on na we thotti ke le chalo le and there it is clinging on the support this winding movement this climbing or the kamba chutta le le and there this winding movement of the tendril of a climbing plant is an example for tegmotropism right so this is example for tegmotropism this is chemotropism where the what you are seeing is the gynoecium or pistil of a flower where it has basal swollen ovary with the ovules inside and then long style ending in stigma and the stigma has re- received pollen grains by the process pollination now this pollen grain when it germinates it is stimulated by the secretion of the tip of the stigma and that stimulation that is irritability responds to stimuli the pollen tube grows and reaching the ovule so this is a best example for chemotropism the movement of a plant part in response to a chemical stimulus is called chemotropism if the plant part shows movement towards chemical it is positive chemotropism if it is away from it is negative chemotropism example growth of a pollen tube towards the ovule induced by sugary substance and stimulus is an example for chemotropism the ripe stigma in the carpel of a flower carpel na pistil of a flower secretes a chemical substance which is sugary in nature and uh, in that chemical substance is entering in present in the style towards the ovary and this sugary substance acts as a stimulus for the pollen grain which fall on the stigma this is chemotropism in the figure and the detail nalla in the video paakalam adu pass panni full ah ezhidiko nama book la iruka illaya na full ah detail ah nama book la irukadhu so na and short answers ki kekkalam creative question la appa you don't say i don't know she didn't say i didn't learn na solla kudadhu idha vandu you have to learn edha chemotropism seriya the next one is nastic movement itta idu varaikum padadalla geotropism phototropism hydrotropism tegmotropism and chemotropism are five subdivisions next what you are going to see is nastic movements which are non directional response of a plant or part of a plant to stimulus and based on that they are classified into different types first one is tegmonastic it is also known as seismonasty one of the example best example and mimosa pudica touch me not plant totta churinge chunga before touch in or figure par adha und it is a compound leaf compound leaf na nare kutti kuttiya leaflets irukku அது வந்து நல்ல விரிஞ்சிருக்கு அடுத்த ஃபிகர் பாரு தொட்ட உடனே அது வந்து மூடிடும் அந்த ரெண்டு இலையும் மூடிடும் அதுதான் ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் டு ஸ்டிமுலஸ் ஆஃப்டர் டச் வந்து இட் இஸ் க்ளோசிங் இட்ஸ் லீக்லெட்ஸ் திக்மோனாஸ்டி ஆல்சோ நோன் அஸ் சீஸ்மோனாஸ்டி 
the non directional movement of a plant part in response to the touch of an object is called tegmonastic best example mimosa pudica if it touches the leaves of sensitive plant with our fingers then its leaves fold up and droop immediately drooping in a way idu panikku and there droop immediately okay next one it is photonasty photona sunlight so the dandelion flower nai nai paakra yellow and the dandelion flower i love the first it is just going to bloom then sunlight vandone nalla perusa koothukku adu dandelion another one it is uh, moon flower ipomea alba when at night it blooms day time la adu undu chinna nalla idu photonasty in moon flower so the non directional movement of a plant in response to light is called photonasty the opening of leaves and flowers during day time and the closure at night is an example the yellow and the dandelion a dandelion flower opens up in the morning in bright light but closes in the evening when the light fades and gets dark viridin one and it is sorry it is a photonasty in moon flower day time la indha maari irukum chinna da night la vandu nalla alanga then another one it is thermonasty where movement of part or a plant associated with the change in temperature so the hilly areas la la one extreme cold irukku illana korange illa difference in temperature adu vandu based on the response so example tulip flower adu vandu bouquet la irukum solla illa and the tulip flower tulip flowers bloom as the temperature increases idu vandu or creative question ah maari kuda pola thermal nasty chennai leyo thirunaveli leyo indha tulip flower ku pooka mudiyuma mudiyala ena temperature is very high whereas tulip flowers vandu hill station la da adhu suitable temperature i hope you have understood huh? so this is for the nastic moments i hope you understand we will continue in the next class thank you